Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we welcome you here. We thank you, Lord. Father, we pray, pray tonight, Lord God, that your Holy Spirit would have reign in this place, Lord God, in each of us, in that hearing and in that doing. We give you glory, honor, and praise, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank God for His glory. Hallelujah. First Corinthians 14, chapters 14, verse number 6. Now, brethren, you all have to say amen. amen. Now, brethren, if I come to you speaking with tongues, what shall I profit you except I shall speak to you either by revelation or by knowledge or by prophesying or by doctrine? Praise God. When we first given the assignment, I went to look to see. What, what was happening in the Corinthian church? This was talking about Paul, and um, there was a lot of there were a lot of discrepancies in the instruction given in this in this church, and it, it talked about a lot of different things in this in this book of Corinthians. But right here, verse fourteen is speaking about spiritual gifts, primarily prophesying, speaking in tongues. Um, he says, Dear brethren, if I come to you speaking with tongues, what shall I profit you except I speak to you either by revelation or by knowledge? And I translated that out to be presently right now. If I was to come here and speak to you and just begin speaking in tongues. But praise God. Speech, speaking, I looked up the word speak. Speak means to utter intelligibly. The word with means in conjunction with, and tongues mean unintelligible utterance. So Paul is talking here, he says, if I come to you speaking, if I come with intelligent utterance, also in conjunction with unintelligent utterance, what shall I profit you? It profits you because when you speak in the Holy Ghost, when you speak by, by tongues, you are edifying, the scripture says you edify yourself. But if you prophesy, you are edifying the church. But what I wanted to go over, what I saw in here is that the whole book of Corinthians is speaking in, I heard one word, conjunction. Every chapter in Corinthians speaks about conjunction. One thing has to happen with another thing. It speaks about marriage. It speaks about the body of Christ. It speaks about it speaks about the gifts. We are in the body. We are the body of Christ. One, and we, we're members in particular. We heard that on Sunday. What it's talking about is one thing cannot work without the other. And Paul is trying to emphasize this in the workings of the church as well as in the giftings that God gives liberally one to another. So when he talks about this, he says, speaking in tongues, when you speak with an unknown tongue, you're speaking in your language in conjunction with the unintelligible language, which is the Holy Ghost, which is mysteries to God. And it's, and it's edifying, it's knowledgeable, it's edifying for the church, for the body of Christ. Because if you come just in word and not in power, what is that? If you come just with the word of God and not the spirit of God, you need the spirit of God to interpret the word of God. And, um... When you, when you have that, you have two. You have two. So what he's basically saying is, don't just speak in tongues where people can't get edified by. Because if someone came in here and I just was up here praying in the Holy Ghost, they would not understand. Amen. But because we have the gift of prophesying, that's given, that's given by the Spirit as He wills, prophesying edifies because it's, un, it's understood. You can, it manifests the, the, the thoughts of a man heart. So, by prophesying, because over here in um, the same chapter, if you look down in verse 23, it speaks about that. I'm not going to go into that for, because for the time. But it says, if um, I'll go to 24, but if all prophesy, and there come in one that believes not, or one that doesn't learn, he is convinced of all and judged of all, and thus are the secrets of his heart made manifest. And so falling down in his face, he will worship God and report that God is in you of a truth. Prophesying gives a clear understanding that the spirit of God, the spirit of truth, is in 
the believer in the church. But what I wanted to really focus on when I read this was that with tongues, speaking with tongues, praise God. Amen. But I wanted to, I was trying to convey up here when I heard, um, when I started, was that in the whole chapter of Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, it always, it speaks a lot about conjunction, two things working together. And um, when it got to chapter 14, it spoke about spiritual gifts working together. And um, talking about speaking in tongues, when you speak in tongues, when you speak in tongues, what it does in tongues and with tongues, that's what I was trying to get into a little bit. Because the scripture talks about with tongues, speaking intelligent with unintelligible words, and in tongues, which gives um, edification to yourself and um, into the prophetic, into the prophetic. Um, tongues, it, um, revelation knowledge shows you something, knowledge gives you understanding, prophesying, um, allows you to tell or share something. The doctrine is telling of the truth of God's word. And these things, when you are in the spirit of God, you, the word and the spirit go together. Like the a spirit is in us, we are in the we are the church. The church is in the body of Christ. The body's in God. We are in Christ, and Christ is in God. So all those things work together. So tongues and interpretation of the tongues. What I was given was you cannot. You can't do anything on your own. You are a body, you're a member, you're a part of the church. And, and tongues, and interpretation of tongues, like it says, you won't get evocation just speaking in tongues. But if revelation knowledge, um, prophesying comes forth, it's better. And it's better to prophesy because you can always speak. Faith come by hearing and hear by the word of God. So when people hear the word of God, they can receive it. So edification, praying in the Holy Ghost, building yourself up on your most holy faith, being walking in the spirit, being strong in the spirit. And then being able to give out a word, because that's how that's what it, that's how God works. Jesus didn't even do anything with His own. He, he said, "What I hear from the Father, that's what I do. That's what I speak." You know, we are built in the body of Christ. He said, "Members in particular, but one body." Saying also, when you give a word, when you're speaking in tongues, you're, uh, we, 